In this equation, we have NH4Cl plus Na2CO3. That's ammonium chloride plus sodium carbonate. It's a bit of a pain because we have all these different products here. So I've counted the atoms up for you already. And really, the only thing to watch out for is for the hydrogen, you have 2 plus 3. So you should have 5 hydrogen atoms. And then for the oxygen, you have 2 plus the 1 here. So you should have 3. So be careful when you're counting those up. I like to leave the hydrogens and the oxygens till last. That usually makes it a little easier. So why don't we start with the sodium atoms? We have two here and one here. We'll put a two in front of the NaCl. One times two, that'll give us two. That balances the sodiums. The two applies to everything. So one times two, and we have two chlorine atoms. Let's just balance the chlorine atoms next. We'll put a two in front of the ammonium chloride. One times two. So now we have two chlorines. We've balanced the chlorines. Four times two, that'll give us eight hydrogens. And one times two, that'll give us two nitrogens. Let's do the nitrogens next. We have two here and one here. We'll put a two in front of the NH3. One times two, that'll give us two nitrogens. Those are balanced. We need to update the hydrogen atoms though. So we have our two hydrogens here, plus we have three times two, that's six, that gives us eight. And actually we're done. This equation, it's balanced. So a few things here to think about. One is make sure you count up all the oxygens or the hydrogens. You need to make sure you count those up first, otherwise it's very difficult to balance. And then often leaving the hydrogens and the oxygens until last when you're balancing equations, that's a good strategy. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NH4Cl plus Na2CO3. Thanks for watching.